joining and detaching threads. There are following two routines which we can use to join or detach threads. So two threads can join, then their execution will become dependent and also in the reverse way two threads can get detached. So p thread join is a respective function with the help of which we can join two threads. So here we are passing this thread id and the status and in case of p thread underscore detach this function requires only the thread id as input argument. So the p thread underscore join function subroutine blocks the calling thread until the specified thread id thread terminates. So that is why two threads will become dependent in their execution and also their termination. So p thread underscore join function or this respective subroutine blocks the calling thread until the specified thread id which has been passed here as input argument this particular thread terminates. When a thread is created one of its attributes defines whether it is joinable or detached. So only those threads that are created as joinable can be joined. If a thread is created as detached, it cannot be joined afterwards. So this is the main issue. So we will be discussing this one with a sample program for the better understanding. So here is the program code for us. Here we have defined this num thread that is a constant that is a constant we are going to define that is a, a numeric value it is holding that is 5 it is known as symbolic constant. This is my weight there is a function which returns a generic pointer and which takes a generic pointer as input argument. So the function name is weight. Here we have written the respective body and it is just printing slipping in the thread and thread with the id tid whatever the value in the tid that will get printed and this tid will get initialized after taking this t as input and we are doing the type casting it as long. So that is the body of the weight function. So here is the main function for us. Here we have defined this p thread underscore t type threads. It is the name of the array and having got five locations and p thread underscore a ttr underscore t it, under this particular type we are defining this particular variable that is attr. Now we shall do in this way. So p thread underscore attr underscore init this function has been called where this attr reference has been passed. p thread underscore attr underscore set detach state. So here I shall have to mention whether the two threads are joinable or not. In that case it is a ampersand attr and then p thread create joinable. So we are mentioning this one that it is joinable. So for i is equal to 0 to 4 because it is working up to i less than 5 i plus plus. So c out is taking place. So main, main function this is a respective string I am printing. I am printing also the value of i and then rc p thread create here we are creating the thread. We know that p create p thread underscore create requires four input arguments. The first one is the thread id, next one is the attribute, next one is the function which is the which is the body of the thread going to be executed. We define this particular function weight in the previously where we had this particular function definition which is returning one generic pointer and takes one generic pointer variable as input argument. So that is the respective thread body and here we are passing this required this argument is there. So it returns rc. If the rc is true then we shall print that some error has occurred. So that is why we are going for c out this and exit minus 1 will indicate termination of the code. Now p thread attr p thread underscore attr underscore destroy we are passing this attr variable reference and then for 0 to 4 it will be executing i is will be i will be executing from 0 to 4. So p thread join threads i and ampersand status. So in this way it will be returning rc and accordingly the code will get executed. I think it will be better if you go for the execution of the code. So let us type this program on the editor, let us compile it, let us run it and let us explain the output of the code for your better understanding. So here is the demonstration for you, watch that one and have a crystal clear conception.
In this program, we shall discuss regarding the thread joining and thread detach. The thread join function is the main function which will be discussing in this particular program. It is actually a subroutine blocks the calling the thread until the specified thread ID thread terminates. When a thread is created, one of its attributes defines whether it is joinable or detached. So as a result of that, we should make that particular thread joinable, then only the thread can join, otherwise the thread cannot be joined. So we can say that only threads that are created as joinable can be joined. If a thread is created as detached, it cannot be joined further. So now in this case, here we are having the same uh, short of coding which we had in our earlier program. So here the name of the function has got changed. So we have made that one as weight and it is taking one uh, generic pointer t and this is a long and here this tid is getting initialized with this sleep function we have called here. These messages are getting uh, printed and p thread underscore exit function is being called when null has been passed as the respective status. So when the child threads will be created, then this particular weight function will be called and at the end, the child thread will be releasing its space after getting terminated. So this is our main function. So here we have defined one threads array of size 5 and it is of the type p thread underscore t. So here we have just initializing the thread attributes and we are making this particular thread as joinable. So here we are calling the we are creating the child threads using the function pthread underscore create. We discussed this one earlier also that pthread underscore create requires four parameters. So first one is the thread reference, second one is the attribute to be passed, third one is the respective function or the start routine going to be executed when the thread will be um, initiated and then the last one is the argument to be passed and its return value will be assigned to RC and RC is of the type of integer and if the RC is true then it will indicate that the child thread could not get created successfully so then it will print this message and exit minus one will indicate abnormal termination of the code and here we are having this thread uh, attribute destroy and that is reference of the ATTR has to be passed. Now here you see we have used this particular function that is p thread join and it requires two arguments one is the thread id and another one is the status and the return value will be assigned to rc so if the rc is true then unable to join the the thread could not join with the other thread mentioned as the thread id so then exit minus 1 will indicate abnormal termination of the code and main completed thread is i so when the thread will get completed then it will print the value of i and exiting with the status this and that so whatever we are going to print is in front of us and we, sh we shall be getting the respective output accordingly so when all threads will get completed all the child threads will get terminated then uh, the main that program exiting this code will get executed and the main thread is getting terminated using the function thread underscore exit and passing null as the status so now let me go for the execution let me show you the execution of this particular program so here is the respective output for us you can easily find that initially the threads are getting created initially the threads are getting created okay so that is a main uh, creating thread one and then thread two and thread three in this way so this is a line which was supposed to get executed when these lines were got printed now slipping in the thread and thread with id4 exiting thread with uh, in threads uh, thread with id3 exiting so these threads are uh, uh, exiting accordingly and see when the all threads have got uh, have got their um, termination then only the main the program exiting this code has got executed because this is the code which will get executed only after termination of all its created child threads because we made this particular thread as joinable and you know that in case of after joining the thread can get executed only if termination of the thread id mentioned in the joining uh, joining pthread underscore join function so in this way 
uh, when completed thread ID 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then main program exiting this particular code got executed and main thread has got its termination ultimately. I think now the conception is cleared because we have explained our program line by line. Thanks for watching this video.